quick uh, tutorial, sort of revisiting an Archicad video from about five years ago. Um, this is not going to be an all-encompassing twin motion tutorial. I'm just taking an old project, and we're going to look at a way to sort of replicate some of the style options in Archicad. Um, as you can see here, uh, I've sort of embellished this uh, um, file in twin motion. I've added some entourage con content, some grasses, trees, shrubs, cars, people, uh, and lamps. Um, touching up the surfaces really can also help uh, really pop the quality of the rendering, but primarily those things, uh, surfaces, light, lights and lamps, and landscape is really going to uh, help the twin motion rendering. Uh, but for the, pur for the purposes of today's uh, lesson, I want to look at styles in twin motion. Um, you know, you might want something a little bit sketchier, but uh, still add the detail to it to get uh, a higher quality rendering, uh, even as a line drawing or a sketch rendering. Uh, we can create a sketch rendering in Twin Motion by going to the Media button and Image. Um, I'm going to go ahead and create an image that creates the static image. And I could render this out as is, uh, and it would be fine. Uh, here I'm going to rename this. I'm going to call it uh, Sketch Elevation. Um, if I click the little More button right here, I get these options. Uh, now you might be using a newer version of Twinmotion than I am. I'm on version 21. Um, the, the software has made some changes, uh, minor improvements and interface updates, uh, but all of it should be relatively similar or familiar to what we're looking at here. Um, you can adjust the lighting. Uh, I can adjust the exposure, the shadow, all of that. Um, you can get into the weather settings. You can start like playing around with this particular image, whether um, the season is set, uh, whether it's uh, sort of more overcast or not. You can see that really brings out the, uh, the lamps sort of pop more as it becomes a little bit more overcast. Um, in this case, I'm going to just keep it at summer and sunny. Um, there's also growth aspects if your trees are set to um, relate to that. Uh, obviously, you can see that all of them growing proportionally is probably not a great idea. You can, uh, you can adjust those individually as well. Uh, for this, I'm just going to keep it sort of a modest urban landscape. Uh, we'll go back into here. Um, so we've looked at weather. We've looked at lighting. I can go to my um, uh, location. Uh, you can set the date and the time, and you can actually adjust which direction north is. Uh, you see the little compass right here. Um, you can match that pretty closely to, um, uh, to your project north um, in Archicad. Um, especially if the, the building is sort of orthogonal to north, it makes it a little bit easier. There's also an option for different backgrounds. Uh, the background options are pretty limited. Um, I know most people using Twinmotion uh, use none, or if we were really getting into it, uh, we could look at sky domes and things like that that would create um, a more specific custom background. Um, and uh, so the, the north gives you sort of the, the sun angle. Um, or, or the north, and then your time of day gives you that sun angle for that project north. Uh, but really what I want to look at here is the output, creating like a sketch style rendering. Uh, the first thing I want to do is make sure that I'm uh, pumping out as high a resolution as possible. Newer versions of Twin Motion, probably on new, newer computers even, are going to give you better than 4K resolution. For this, I'm just going to say we're, we're sticking with 4K as the highest resolution. We're going to go to the camera settings now. Uh, in here, you can create all sorts of sort of cheesy camera effects like lens flares and, and things like that. Um, but really what I want to look at is the visual effects. There's color gradients and filters and clay render options. Um, uh, but what I want here is the filters and under none. Uh, most of these are um, really cheesy, uh, but ones that I do like are actually these uh, sketch hidden line renderings. Um, maybe something like a blueprint might be stylistically um, sort of abstract enough for, for your presentation needs. Um, but the one that I prefer is this hidden line too. Uh, even the landscape, the grasses, are pumped out with some level of detail. They, they sort of look like a, a technical pencil or a pen and ink drawing if you darkened them up a little bit. Um, but one of these two, uh, and they're, they're very similar. Um, it's just a matter of like how much surface shading and shadow gets put in. So we're going to save this with um, hidden line 2. And when we go back into that elevation, um, there's that hidden line drawing. 
Um, you can also duplicate that image or create a new image from that and produce more than one style of image. Um, so coming back into visual effects and filters, I would just set this to none and then go back. And then I have uh, basically vignettes or saved views um, of each of these options. Uh, once I go to my export options, I can go to here and select the various images that I want to save out and just start the export. Um, for the purpose of this video, this training, I'm not going to start the export and wait or risk the chance of it crashing on me. Um, but that's how you would do save out a high quality, high resolution sketch rendering from Twinmotion.